What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug and I'm back again with my Ninja Speedy. Today for you guys I'm gonna make some super easy beef stew with mashed potatoes. I took the skin off and cut them in chunks so that it will cook faster. And by the way, this is two pounds of beef stew, guys. I'm going to put a little oil on there. I'm using olive oil right now. Avocado oil would be fine as well. That's enough. And then I'm going to take this packet of gravy mix, whatever gravy mix you have. I would like for you to use onion, but if you don't have that, that's fine. And you're going to dump the whole packet right in there. If you don't have this, you can use flour as well. And then you'll use like a beef broth. Well, we'll get to that anyway. And this is just extra. I'm going to use this as well. This is my go-to pink salt, black pepper, and garlic. I don't leave this out of much recipes, guys. So I use this a lot. Added flavor. That should be enough. We're going to mix all of that up. Oh, I almost forgot. Got to add some What's Your Sister Social Sauce to it. Give that a final mix. That's optional too, but that's 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 great flavor. All right, guys, we mixed it very well, and we're ready to put it in the Ninja Speedy. All right, so now I'm gonna add two cups of water, or actually, yeah, a cup and a half is actually enough for this recipe. A cup and a half, not two cups. That's perfect. And also, you could have added a cup and a half of beef broth instead of water for even more flavor. You know what? In fact, I have some bouillon. I'm going to sprinkle some on there. Let's give it a final mix. Yeah. I didn't want to be left out. I know you guys are going to do it. <laughs> and guess what, guys? You can add some hot pepper to this or some cayenne pepper, whatever you like at this point to give it a little kick. I'm not going for that today, but other times I would. I'm gonna put my rack in the lower position and I'm just gonna add my potatoes. All right, got my potatoes in. Remember, it's in the lower position on the rack. All right, got my potatoes in. Let's close it up. Flip that up. All right, let's get it on. And believe it or not, guys, all I'm gonna be doing today is steaming. So the time, I want to steam it for 20 minutes. That's simple, guys. And for those who are new to this machine, right now it is preheating the liquid to whatever steam temperature it needs to get to. And then the countdown will begin, which in this case is um, 20 minutes. Now, there's just only time. When you're doing steam, it's only time that you can mess with. The temperature is locked into whatever Ninja has it at. You can't change it. So you, when you do steam only, you're just messing with the time. All right. We'll be back when it gets to that temperature. And as a bonus, I'm going to um, chop up this small red onion into slices and add it into my um, my beef stew as soon as it's done. As soon as I get the potatoes out when it's over, when it's done. All right. About six minutes have passed countdown's begun so we'll be back in under 20 minutes and by the way already it smells absolutely fantastic in my kitchen all right guys 20 minutes is up and you see that there it's in the lower position so some of the juices are actually going into the potatoes which is what i wanted if that's not what you want you could put it in a higher position but it just I could just put my finger right on it and you will see an indent in the potatoes because they are done. See? See? Alright, let's get the rack out so I can get my onions in. Alright. up a little bit 
Alright guys, I got a here and saute high. We'll leave it for an additional five minutes while we get our potatoes going. Then we'll just turn it off and just let it thicken up all on its own. Alright guys, I'm get my butter out. Much or as little as you like. And you're gonna go ahead and mash this up. As you see I'm doing there, you get the point. Oh man, the potatoes have a slight beef taste to it. Phenomenal with the butter. Now I'm just showing out right now. I bought this some time ago. This is uh, McCormick bacon and chive. This is phenomenal. This is hard to find nowadays. When I bought it a while ago, it wasn't, but now it is hard to find. But I want to use that on my potatoes. Just because I can. And then I'm going to put some, uh, for decoration, parsley flakes on it. And it should be good to go. I'll mix that together. You get the point. And finally, I'm just going to add some garlic salt. And we should be good to go. Alright guys, I'll let it cool down for like five minutes. And this is what we're working with, guys. That's how I like it. Let's make a plate. I put the broccoli in the microwave, but this could be you guys. Paper towel time. Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. All right, you saw a paper towel go up. It means it's time to eat, guys. You first. You got it? Oh, that's so good. So good. Hmm. Wow. Look at that, guys. Mmm. So much flavor. Beef broth, gravy packet, the onion gravy packet is a must. You need both. I'm glad I did add some at the end. The broth, the beef broth, it's a must. Beef is super tender, guys. You could get away. Honestly, I'm going to put in the description and tell, steam it for 25 minutes. Because that's what I did anyway. Steam it for 25 minutes. This is perfect. Mmm. So easy. Your family's gonna love it. Mmm. So guys, that was simply fantastic, guys. Super easy meal to make, and you could have went 30 minutes if you need to. If you want it to be like, like super, super, duper, duper, duper tender, you can even have went 30 minutes. But 25 minutes is perfect. Perfect for the potatoes and the meat. Now, also, if you want to add cornstarch to really thicken it up, you can take it out at 20 minutes, the potatoes, add your cornstarch, and just put it on sear and saute high for five minutes, and you're good to go. But... I didn't do that, but you can do that if you like. Super simple meal, though. You and your family will love it. I have plenty of leftovers. This can have fed four people easily. So try this out for you and your family. They'll love it. Super easy. Everything I did will be in the description. I'll leave a link in the description to this Ninja Speedy because it is absolutely fantastic. I'm aware that there's an upgrade to this one. I'm not getting that one, as I keep saying. But if you want to get that, that is fine. It is a fantastic machine. I saw it. I don't have, feel the need to get it. I'm happy with this older model. So that's just how I'm rolling right now. I'll also pin to the comments because now I, I think I know I have well over 55 Ninja Speedy um, recipes. So I'll pin that into the comments so you can check that out. I'm sure one, two, three, if not all of them, you will find value in. So definitely check that out. You have nothing to lose. But that's all I got, guys. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. It's Cooking with Doug, and I'm out.